Welcome to our channel, Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve the problem 82 of chapter 4 of Halliday and Resnick Fundamentals of Physics. So let's start reading. A 200 meter, meters wide river has a uniform flow speed of 1.1 meters per second through a jungle and toward the east. An explorer wished to leave a small clearing on the south, south bank and cross the river in a powerboat that moves at a constant speed of 4 meters per second with respect to the water. There is a clearing on the north bank 8 to 2 meters upstream from a point directly opposite the clearing on the south bank. A. In what direction must the boat be pointed in order to travel in a straight line and land in the clearing on the north bank? B. How long will the boat take to cross the river and land in the clearing? So let's start trying to draw the river. So here is the river. The river is going in the east direction. So for us, the east direction is this. So here we have the east. The river has 200 meters wide, wide. So let's represent the here the 200 meters okay so 200 meters let's put this here okay and the explorer is here and wants to go the other side so he wants to travel through the river and the bank in the other side of the river is upstream so in this direction so let's represent the the distance from one another let's do it yes so this the displacement in the upstream direction necessarily will be of eight two meters here. Okay. So the explorer, the boat must travel 200 meters in the north direction and 82 meters in the west direction. So let's represent the boat here. And the boat, of course, has a velocity. And the direction of the velocity is one of the things that we want to know. Let's represent the direction using an angle here, theta. This is the angle of the velocity of the boat. So here we have the velocity of the boat and we know we know that the velocity of the river is 1.1 meters in the east direction so for us in the x direction meters per second and we also know that the velocity of the boat but with respect to the river, the speed 
is 4 meters per second. Okay, so let's represent the velocity of the boat with respect to the river as decomposing in two components. The component, component in the x direction will be the velocity of the boat here with, with respect to the river project, projected with uh, cosine of the angle it will be negative because it points toward the west so we will have the velocity we know the magnitude the speed it's four so minus four multiplied by cosine of theta in the x direction plus the other component of the velocity the speed project with sine sine of theta in the north direction. We know that the velocity of the boat with respect to the river can be written as the velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the river. And the velocity of the river we know. So we can write the velocity of the boat minus 1.1 in the x direction. That is, that's the, the velocity of the river. So from this we can write the velocity of the boat will be the velocity of the boat with respect to the river plus this term. So we will have 1.1 minus 4 multiplied by cosine of theta. This is the velocity in the x direction or east direction plus the north velocity, the velocity to the north. This is the velocity of the boat. And we want, what we want is that the velocity of the boat is the velocity necessary to, to produce a displacement of 200 meters in the north direction and 82 meters in the west direction. So let's write it. We want that the velocity of the boat component uh, x multiplied by the time will produce a displacement of 82 meters but upstream so minus 82 meters. So with this we will have an equation that will be 1.1 minus 4 cosine theta equals minus 82. And we can write also that the velocity in the north direction multiplied by the time will be, it's necessary that uh, this displacement is 200 meters. So we we'll have 4 multiplied by sine of that. Oh, I forgot here the, the time. So multiplied by time. Uh, here we have 4 multiplied by sine multiplied by the time. It will be 200 meters. So now we have two equations and to unknown, unknowns. So the problem is already solved. Already solved. So 
but it's not so direct in this case because we have sine and cosine so how can we solve this problem let's look at this equation we can write that the sine of theta equals uh, 200 divided by 4 is 50 so 50 divided by the time so sine equals 50 divided by delta t so let's represent this is a, a trigonometric function so let's represent using a triangle we'll have here the angle theta the opposite side and the hypotenuse I don't know in English how to pronounce this term and here we have the other side we can use the Pythagoras uh, theorem to, to compute this and we and can write that this side is delta t squared minus 50 squared so this, is, this implies that the cosine will be this side divided by delta t and then we can put this this term here in this in the first equation and the problem is solved so let's do it we will have 1.1 minus 4 multiplied by this term multiplied by this term and this multiplied by delta t and this equals minus 82 so if we multiply by delta t and squared we will get a quadrat quad quadratic equation and solve the problem so so here the continuation is very simple very straightforward i already did uh, already made the the solution already worked the solution so let's see here we have so multiplied by t we'll get this equation and then I squared the, I changed the, the putting this term in the other side and this in this side and squared both both sides of the equation and solving the square the quadratic equation we will have this solution for the problem which implies that the the angle will be this angle with the west direction so the problem is solved